Hi everyone, and welcome to English Digest. I'm Pat, and I'm Cat, and we're going to be getting into a pretty scary article today. Ooh, yeah. So we are talking about a certain creature that you often hear about around Halloween time. Do you、so、are you a fan of horror movies in general? Oh, I love horror. Yeah, definitely. How about you? Um, older horror movies. Ah, I, I like the ones where there's a little bit of a. A kind of a psychological touch to it as、mm-hmm. well, yeah.、Um, that kind of thing, like、uh, every now and again, I like the old Hammer stuff. Hammer, a British horror film studio of the、oh. sort of fifties to seventies. It's a lot of classic Dracula's mummy,、oh, Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing、oh. kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I remember Christopher Lee was a Dracula. Many times, yeah. And actually,、uh, this creature we're talking about today was in several of those. Yes, indeed.、Werewolf. We're talking about one of the famous movie and literary monsters today. It's werewolves.、Mm-hmm. So let's read through the article and find out where these stories sprang from. Imagine you're walking through a spooky forest. Under the light of the full moon, danger seems to lie in wait behind every tree. Suddenly, a long, lonely howl splits the air, turning your blood to ice. As you turn to run home as fast as your feet will take you, one terrifying word flashes through your mind: werewolf. Most people can imagine exactly what the person in this scenario is afraid of—a large, vicious creature. That's half human and half wolf. These frightening beasts have been part of Western folklore for centuries. Similar examples can be found as far back as the Epic of Gilgamesh, the first known prose in Western civilization. The Greek legend of Lycaon also showed a corrupt king being transformed into a wolf. But the version we know now. Where black magic causes someone to transform into a wolfman during the full moon, derives from medieval Europe. It was widely believed that werewolves presented real danger, and many people were tried as werewolves along with those accused of being witches. Unbelievable though the myth may seem, there is a grain of truth to it. Many accused werewolves were serial killers, including the infamous werewolf of Bedburg. Peter Stump. In 1589, this cannibalistic killer admitted to eating 14 children and numerous others. He also claimed to have a magic belt, gifted by the devil himself, that turned him into a wolf. Other killers during this age made similar claims of transforming into wolves. It's no great stretch of the imagination to see how such cruel murderers. Could be portrayed as inhuman beasts. There may yet be one more explanation for the werewolf myth: clinical lycanthropy. This rare psychiatric condition has people believing they're able to transform into wolves or other animals. Uncommon as it is, you can take comfort in knowing it's still more likely than a huge beast stalking you through moonlit forests. So I'm more likely to think I can turn into a wolf than by eaten than be eaten by a real one. Yeah, that's、It's、true. Definitely a weight off my mind.、Mm-hmm. So yes, we're talking about the werewolf legend here and the origins of it. And in the title, we say the beastly origins of it. So we have a double meaning to this word beastly.、Uh, beastly could just mean kind of like a beast, like an animal.、Mm. But beastly also means horrible, nasty, cruel. Like、yeah. if you behave like a beast towards someone, then you're basically you know you're acting like an animal attacking another animal, that sort of thing. Yeah. So a double meaning in this title. Title, and that's what it means. So, we start off with、uh, a scary kind of scary story.、Mm-hmm, exactly. So, imagine so you're putting yourself in this person's shoes. Imagine you're walking through a spooky forest under the light of the full moon. 
Ooh! So we're already setting the scene by saying where we are. It's a spooky forest, and this word "spooky" is one that you'll often hear around Halloween season in、uh, haunted houses and horror films.、Um, spooky means just basically scary, but not scary in like a startling or surprising way, but more like a creepy way where you feel uneasy. You feel like there's some ghosts around or something like that. You feel kind of like, ooh, something's gonna happen to. Me, it's spooky here. It's dark. It's dirty. I can't see well. That might be the feeling of this forest where you can't see much of anything, and so anything could be out there. Yeah, and spooky kind of relates to you can. Some people would say a spook is a ghost. It's another、yeah. word for a ghost. True. And it can be a verb as well to spook someone to scare someone. Yeah, exactly. You often say that horses get spooked when they are startled by something.、Mm. Yeah. So we so, al- yeah. we also say danger seems to lie in wait behind every tree. To lie in wait basically means it's there, concealed, waiting for you to then jump out in an ambush.、Mm-hmm. It may not actually be lying on the ground, but it's kind of motionless, waiting, preparing to attack. Yeah. So it seems like there's something behind every tree, waiting to attack you. But then something happens. Suddenly, a long, lonely howl splits the air, turning your blood to ice. Ooh, we have several、uh, kind of literary phrases or idioms in here, but、uh, we'll have to start with the word howl. So howl is basically what a wolf does. It's that ow sound that they make when、uh, they are trying to call each other. Dogs do it too. And、um, you can also describe a person as howling if they're like crying really long and loud, something like that. It's basically a long, loud, usually high-pitched cry.、Mm, yeah, and it splits the air, so it's kind of a—it's almost like it tears through the air. This、mm-hmm. sound is definitely、uh, just comes out of nowhere, and it's so loud the air seems to sort of draw away from it, ripped apart,、mm-hmm, and it turns、yeah. your blood to ice. Not literally, of course. We've got a metaphor here. Your blood is turning. It feels like you're cold all over, as if there were ice in your veins.、Mm-hmm, exactly, and it's a feeling you get when you're suddenly just so terrified.、Mm. Yeah, your blood runs cold, or your blood turns to ice. And so this paragraph concludes. As you turn to run home as fast as your feet will take you, one terrifying word flashes through your mind: werewolf. So that's what you're thinking as、mm-hmm. this all happens to you. Yeah, exactly. So you are running away because you heard probably a normal wolf, or、mm. maybe not even a normal wolf. Maybe it was something completely different、uh, in the forest, and you're thinking, "I don't want to get eaten."、Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Back in medieval Europe, this might have been a thing people did pretty often, but this is our scary story that we start out this article with, and the next paragraph begins. Most people can imagine exactly what the person in this scenario is afraid of. So I'll just start with that. We have a scenario. This whole first paragraph was a scenario. So a scenario is basically a scene that you can kind of say, imagine this is the scene. Imagine this is happening to you, just like it does say in the paragraph.、Um, a scenario is basically showing somebody or giving somebody a story about a situation in order to usually illustrate a point. Yeah, yeah, put them in the moment where you are. What's going on? This is what you're feeling. This is what's happening, kind、mm-hmm. of thing. And in this scenario, people are afraid of werewolves, large, vicious creatures that that are, are a large, vicious creature、mm-hmm. that's half human and half wolf. If something is vicious, then it is quite happy to attack. In fact, that's its natural instinct. It's just going to attack people, not in defence, but just because it likes to attack things. It's aggressive. It doesn't mind causing pain. In fact, it rather enjoys that whole idea.、Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if we really can describe an. Animal as truly vicious because most an- most animals will only attack in self-defense, but yeah, or for hunting. Yeah, exactly. They've got reasons for what they do, but maybe that's the human side. It's vicious because humans do often cause pain just for the purpose of causing pain in、right. a way that a regular wolf would not. Exactly, and but you can say something vicious if maybe its defensive techniques are like really aggressive,、mm-hmm. like a badger. I think of badgers as being kind of vicious when they're. 
are threatened. Mm. Like they'll they'll bite you or、mm-hmm. snakes too, something like that.、Um, but werewolves, you know, they're believed to cause pain and suffering and death just because they can.、Mm-hmm. So it says these frightening beasts have been part of Western folklore for centuries. Yeah,、uh, definitely, it's kind of a European thing. Uh, werewolves, and、uh, but they actually don't start in Europe. They start in a different place. But before we talk about that, we need to know what is folklore. This is made up of two words: folk, which is people, and lore. And lore is kind of like the background stories for certain beliefs, certain cultural things,、um, ways of life, something like that. So folklore is kind of like. The stories that you would hear that come from your cultural traditions—they、um, might not be true. In fact, they're usually part of myths, but they kind of do something to explain why people believe a certain thing, why people take certain actions.、Um, so, folklore could be like—I don't know—the kind of the the land gods that are in Chinese myths or something like that. That、mm-hmm. could be folklore. Um, yeah, so werewolf is part of Western folklore.、It's、yeah, Asian part of the beliefs. Asian folklore would include things like、uh, different dragons. Yeah,、uh, a lot of the stuff around Ghost Month is kind of folklore. Yes, yes, that kind、sure. of thing. So we say it's Western folklore, but the origins go back、uh, kind of further and further east.、Mm-hmm. The article says similar examples can be found as far back as the Epic of Gilgamesh, the first known prose in Western civilization. So here we're using the word epic to mean a long. Poem, or in this case, prose about the、mm. actions of great men or women, or it kind of tells the story of a nation's history.、Yeah. It's this kind of thing. You may have heard of others,、uh, often Greek ones like the Iliad or、mm-hmm. the Odyssey,、um, the Latin Aeneid, things like that. Great old stories. You could almost say the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Sand yeah, that's the, an epic for sure. You would certainly say that is an epic. And this comes from it's Mesopotamia, right? It's yeah, it's kind modern of, day Iraq. Yeah, Middle East. Yeah, so and it's prose,、uh, which just means it's written or spoken language that doesn't have like a poetic form. It's not rhyming. It's not having the same number of syllables in a line. It's just mostly what we normally read. Yeah, exactly. It'd be like reading、uh, writing mostly how you speak, maybe a little bit more formal or fancy, but it's not poetry.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the Epic of Gilgamesh is the first place where they found, you know, a werewolf kind of thing. There's a woman who transforms her lover into a wolf、hmm. uh, as a punishment, and then the, we see that the Greek legend of Lycaon or Lycian, I'm not sure. I also think Lycaon show- sounds more. Gr- I think the seas are often hard seas in、yeah. in gold Greek. Lycaon, okay.、Um, the Greek legend of Lycaon also showed how a, a corrupt king being transformed into a wolf Wolf. So, like Kaon is the name of the king, and he was corrupt. Corrupt is a word that we often hear to use、uh, in in reference to people in government, in reference to politicians.、Uh, people who are corrupt are, you know, kind of motivated by evil or、um, not good means, greed. Like, huh? Greed. Yeah, greed. Usually, like it's it's about money. It's about Power or fame—it's not about actually helping people. So if you're corrupt, then you might be, you know, doing things for the wrong reasons. It's basically saying maybe once you had good intentions, but now you just want money, fame, power—that sort of thing. Okay, so those are a couple of the older legends, but a lot of what we now think of and associate with werewolves come from further or later in history.、Uh, the article says, "But the version we now、uh, we know now, where black magic causes someone to transform into a wolfman during the full moon, derives from medieval Europe."、Uh, medieval refers to roughly between the fifth and fifteenth centuries, also、mm-hmm. known as the Middle Ages. Yeah, it's that kind of time from the the real end of the Roman Empire to the sort of Renaissance era where and Enlightenment, when people were sort of really starting to think again and question things a little bit more, especially their、mm-hmm. religion. So before yeah,、exactly. then, it was. 
uh, in some parts, even known as the early parts, the Dark Ages, because yeah, uh, because civilizations had kind of collapsed. Things. People were off on their own in smaller communities and slowly starting to build up again, and having a lot of very strong religious beliefs that really guided almost all of their lives. Exactly, and you know, werewolves were part of that.、Um, it was widely believed that werewolves presented real danger, and many people were tried as werewolves along with those accused of being witches. So when we say Tried here, it doesn't mean like try to do something. They were tried in a court, so they actually were said like, "You are a werewolf. We're going to prove it, and when we prove it, we're going to kill you because you're going to be punished for eating people." That sort of thing.、Mm. So it'd be like if you know there was a law today against being werewolves, you would be tried for it,、mm-hmm. and they were accused. Of being werewolves,、uh, and there were others accused of being witches.、Mm-hmm. So, accused to accuse somebody means basically to point at them and say, "There is something to blame you for.、Um, you have done something wrong. This is a、uh, a thing. This is a fact, or this is a thing that I say that you have done that is wrong."、Mm. So that's accusing somebody. It's an accusation. Yeah, it's it's often what starts off a more sort of. Legal、official、process. criminal investigation. Yeah, yeah. The police can arrest you,、uh, but you could also go to the police and say this person did this thing.、Uh, maybe you don't bring immediate proof, but you're certainly accusing them. He did it. They did it. They're、mm-hmm. the bad people. Yes, exactly. Okay, we're going to take a short break here, and we'll be back again in a moment.、Uh, we've dealt with kind of the past and a lot of the l- myths and stories. When we come back, we're going to start looking at some of the real facts that may sort of exist underneath the rest of the legends. So, join us again in a moment. Hi everyone! Welcome back to part two of our article about werewolves. We've just talked about some of the lore, the legends, the myths about them. So now let's look at some of the more kind of truth that's inside these stories. We start the next paragraph by saying, "Unbelievable, though the myth may seem, there is a grain of truth to it." So the first clause in this sentence is inverted.、Uh, we、mm-hmm. could say the myth may seem unbelievable. We would then need a negative contrast word like but.、Mm-hmm. Okay. By inverting it, firstly we remove the need for that negative that contrasting conjunction. Yeah. We、um, kind of put it in there with though. Yeah, exactly.、Uh, unbelievable, though the myth may seem, we don't need one to link the two clauses.、Uh, we also draw more attention to the adjective. We're really putting the focus of this cl- part of the clause on unbelievable.、Mm-hmm. You will really think this is strange. This can't be true. This is impossible. So by inverting this first clause in this way,、uh, we're just really putting emphasis on. The unbelievability of these stories, and we're also setting up a contrast sentence. Exactly, and we're also using the word myth. Yeah, so a myth that would be well, kind of like folklore was described before. It's、um, the stories behind certain events. Like there's, you know, the most common would probably be a creation myth, which says this is how the world was made, or or、uh, the myth of the end of the world. There are many cultures that say how the world is going to end one day, that sort of thing, or the myth of how different things were created, how different gods got their position. Things like that. So, of course, werewolves don't actually exist. So, their、uh, existence and the things that they do, the ways they behave, are myths, and they're all they're passed down through a culture, and that's what makes them an important part of that culture. It's not just you know a story that some people tell. It's a well-known cultural story.、Mm. But、yeah. as we say, there is a grain of truth to this myth.、Mm-hmm. To It so a grain of truth. A grain, of course, is a very small amount of something. A grain of sand, a grain of rice, that kind of thing. So we're saying there's not a large amount of truth behind it, but there is a small amount, maybe a few real events, a few genuine facts that could help this myth to grow and to make people think. Well, hang on, there may be something in this. Just、mm-hmm. a little bit of actual facts and truth. Yeah. 
So, what was this grain of truth? Well, apparently, many accused werewolves were serial killers, including the infamous werewolf of Bedburg, Peter Stump. Serial killers, not people who kill your breakfast cereal, <gasps> as many children would like to think they are.、Mm -hmm. um, but a serial killer or a serial anything is something somebody do, does something in a series, which means they do it over and over. So serial killers, they kill many people, and they usually have a system of their own for doing it that makes it possible to identify who they are and their method of doing so.、Mm. So serial killers. Like Peter Stump, yeah, who was infamous.、Uh, infamous means you're famous for doing something bad.、Mm -hmm. You got your name, you made your reputation for negative things rather than positive ones. So, what do we know about this werewolf of Bedburg? What did what did he do? How did he become infamous? Well, the article says in 1589, this cannibalistic killer admitted to eating 14 children and numerous others.、Uh, now, this、Yikes. sentence is a good example of how、uh, context clues are important when you're reading and learning in English. You may look at the word cannibalistic and think, "Well, what does that mean?" But the second half of this sentence talks about eating. People,、mm -hmm. and that's what a cannibal is. A cannibal is、uh, some person or some animal that eats its members of its own species. Yeah, exactly.、Uh, so a human eating another human is a cannibal. If a lion found a dead lion and started to eat it, which I don't think they do,、no. uh, that would be cannibalistic. Some... Male lions sometimes kill baby lions, but I don't think they eat them. No,、um, spiders would、yeah. do this kind of thing. Yeah,、um, female spiders、insects. eat male spiders. Yeah,、um, yeah, so it's it's common, more very common in certain insects, and maybe snakes might do it. Or yeah, and sometimes hamsters and mice. Yeah, or things that eat dead. Like I can imagine a, a crow eating the dead body of another crow. Yeah, maybe something like that. But anyway, this guy said, "Yeah, I ate some kids and some other people." Yep. So. That's genuine. That's the truth. He is, or he claims to, of a, to be a killer who eats the things and the people he kills. So、yeah. that's the truth side. Now let's add a bit of fiction. Okay. Well, it says he also claimed to have a magic belt gifted by the devil himself that turned him into a wolf. So yeah, I guess he probably would have claimed to eat these people when he was a wolf. It would certainly be easier to do so.、Mm -hmm. um, but the magic belt that was gifted by the devil. So that part is probably not true. You know, people had very strong Christian beliefs at this time. They believed that the devil was involved in everyday life. Any evil act was attributed to the devil. So of course. You know, it'd be quite easy for somebody to maybe even convince themselves that they were influenced by the devil.、Mm. And he wasn't the only one. The article says other killers during this age, so this is right at the end of the medieval period, made similar claims of transforming into wolves.、Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's part of their defense to get them. Oh, I, the devil made me do it. He made me a wolf. Maybe they're just kind of not quite right in the head, and this is how they start to believe and、yeah. convince themselves. Uh, of this sort of thing, so there's several kind of explanations at, at why they do this,、mm -hmm. um, but it does link to how the werewolf legend kind of grows from there. Exactly, and there's other events during that time, like there was、um, like the Beast of Gévaudan in France.、Mm. There was this big thing where、uh, a, a probably a wolf killed、mm -hmm. a bunch of people.、Mm. So you know, there's different events that contribute to the legend,、um, and Of course, it makes sense why people would believe this at the time. And as the last sentence says, it's no great stretch of the imagination to see how such cruel murderers could be portrayed as inhuman beasts. So when you say something is no great stretch of the imagination, no great stretch of the mind, means you don't have to think that far and that、um, long to really understand that this could be a thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That people are inhuman.、Mm -hmm. We use the word inhuman to describe people who are not behaving like humans. They're not showing kind of social characteristics or compassion or empathy. They're basically acting even probably worse than most beasts act. Yeah, exactly. Because animals don't really kill for fun.、Mm. Yeah. 
Interestingly, I think that French story you mentioned. I think that's where the whole werewolf silver bullet comes from. Yeah, I think so because there was a hunting party that tried to go out and kill the beast with silver bullets, and they thought they did, but then more murders happened, and that、mm. sort of thing. It's、yeah. a whole different thing. I、yeah. encourage you guys to look it up. Yeah, I think that's where the the idea that werewolves can be killed or can only be killed by silver is part of what we would now think of as folklore.、Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that's one. Reason we've got all these killers who kind of said, "Oh, it, I can turn into a wolf. That's why I did it. That's what part of my, me." So that's one sort of origin for some of these more recent werewolf stories from that time in Europe. But as the article says, there may yet be one more explanation for the werewolf myth: clinical lycanthropy. Aha!、Uh-huh. So this fancy word, lycanthropy, is basically anything to do with werewolves sort of transforming from. Human to animal. Yeah, exactly. Because lycan means wolf and throat means person. Yeah, and it does, I think, relate back to lycaon. I think there's a connection in the word there、um, between. I think. I think maybe. I looked it up, and it didn't seem like it was. Okay. But I mean, it it might not be an, a, a coincidence that he's named similarly. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, it may be that the name came after the story and the myth、mm-hmm. kind of thing. They sort of fitted it together. Yeah. But yeah. So, what is this clinical lycanthropy? Well, apparently, it's a rare psychiatric condition, and this rare psychiatric condition has people believing they're able to transform into wolves or other animals. And it's so rare that、uh, the example that I saw was only a single example. It happened in the 1960s, and the young man was cured of it within a few weeks. Hmm. So、okay. you know, it's very rare,、um, right. but it's a psychiatric condition, and so anything to do with psychiatry or psychiatric anything means to do with the mind. Basically, it's、um, something that happens in the brain, so like a mental illness or something like that, where you think things that are not the reality. That's that's psychiatric conditions, and this one is certainly uncommon. And we've got another one of these、um, inverted sentences here:、mm-hmm. uncommon as it is, and you can see how that's similar to unbelievable, though the myth may seem.、Mm-hmm. You can take comfort in knowing it's still more likely than a huge beast stalking you through moonlit forests.、So、right. That- Where we started by saying, "Yeah, werewolves are not real. They're not going to stalk you in a forest.、Yeah. To stalk means to follow an animal or a person closely while you remain unseen and unheard. You're basically、mm-hmm. hunting them, and they don't know you're hunting them. And this is almost always in order to catch, kill, harm that thing you're stalking."、Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, and、uh, where they're stalking you is a moonlit forest. So you know you can see the word moon here, lit past tense of light. So that means it's a forest that is lit up by the moon. So usually werewolves are known to come out when it's a full moon. So the forest would be lit up by that full moon.、Mm. Yeah, the full、uh, the full moon definitely. I, th- I guess that goes back to the sort of lunar lunacy, the m- belief、yes. that full moon made people mad. That was common. Yeah, if you guys have ever heard the word lunatic, it basically means somebody who's crazy because of the moon.、Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well that brings us to the end of the article. Thanks for listening and learning about werewolves with us, everyone. For English Digest, I'm Pat, and I'm Cat. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye. See you next time.